What's up, y'all? Thank you for tuning in. I mean, I know some of y'all, but salute to y'all. I wish you well on your journey. We have all been on our own personal journeys, and I hope that you are trying to live your purpose. Um, those of you who have been, to, been subscribed to my channel, and watch my videos or maybe shadow watch them. I don't know. The subscribers never add up to the views. <laughs> but uh, for those of you who do watch. Just know that when I speak on a lot of things. It may come off as like I'm always being negative. But it's just that I'm passionate about speaking the truth about certain things nobody is perfect not i'm not perfect i don't try to act like i'm perfect it, it, it may come off like i feel like i'm perfect because of a certain topic of discussion that i might speak on and things that i might speak against but don't think i hate people or that i'm a hater because of what i speak about just try to understand what I'm speaking about and why I'm speaking about it. But, um, briefly, I want to speak about these gender battles that's going on. I want to speak about mainly <clears throat> feminism and how I feel like it's hurting a lot of women and it's deceiving a lot of women too and it's and it's a lot of hypocrisy in it and I'm gonna explain why I have nothing against it now I don't support patriarchy um, I don't view masculinity as a threat to femininity M masculinity in my opinion is not a threat to femininity it's just a man being himself I'm not talking about a man who abuses women who tears down women I'm just talking about a man who's being his natural self and a woman being her natural self I feel like these days there's too many people trying their hardest to be opposite of what they naturally are but that and that's fine to each his own you know you know it may be a little more difficult on the journey because you're going against the grain on certain things but I would just only hope that people would start making decisions based on not always what they feel but what they feel led to do what it feels natural to do in certain moments but this is the uh, concern I have for feminism and until this situation changes with a lot of women I think it's going to always be a dysfunction and a disconnection with feminism and women women getting a full understanding of people. I understand deeply what women are trying to get the world to understand about them, their hurt, their frustrations. I get it, but I feel like, just like a lot of women would say, well, men that speak certain ways and are very passionate, they don't like the, the projection of it. They don't like how a man projects it, even though they may not be able to uh, debunk it or say, uh, or to find a lie out of it, but they can try to disagree with it and downplay it because they just don't like how it makes them feel well women have an issue with doing the same thing where they're just all about how they feel and they want people to feel how they feel but how they project it out is coming off the wrong way and my thing is this I'm for I am all for women uplifting themselves glorifying themselves but I think what y'all gotta start doing it's like this is this is the issue. It's hypocritical to demonize men as a whole, tear men down, categorize men in a certain way, put all of these labels on men. But then the person that you supposedly worship, or the deity that you worship, the spiritual divine being that you so highly exalt and believe in. It's two individuals that are males that y'all still uplift. 
So I'm wondering what would this these male, these divine males feel? How will they feel about you? How y'all tear down men here? Do you think it was their divine plan, God and Jesus to and I, I mean I'm just putting I'm just gonna speak from biblical terms and religious terms and Christianity terms. How was it how does it make sense to form a cult of of uh men men hating um groups and not only that this is the biggest problem a lot and this is not all women now but it's a lot of women who are pro feminist not only are they dedicated to just trying to destroy the uh the integrity and the purity of all males we're not talking about these men that deserve to be torn down we're just talking about you can't when you categorize all men in general as a certain way it becomes an issue because because not only that women have the power to brainwash the children and women are doing that not all of them but there's a lot of baby mamas who have the custody of the kids which mostly the they usually get the custody of the kids no matter how much money the man has and what happens they start poisoning their children, their children's minds about their father and men in general. And sometimes they bring the wrong men around their children and then they still make it look like your mom's the victim all the time when she could be just, you know, making bad, poor choices or maybe she's a little toxic and she needs to be uh, humbled a little bit. But both sides can be wrong on certain situations. But... I don't see too many men in groups just tearing down women. I, we can speak for maybe when the, the hip hop, in, you know, I have to, me being from the West Coast, I'm not being, a, I'm not a rapper, but me being from the West Coast, I can say that a lot of West Coast rap did contribute to uh, degrading women. You know, you will hear a lot of bitches, hoes, sluts and shit like that in lyrics. But at the same time, that doesn't mean that all men from the West Coast are that way or all men in general think that way. So I think this is, I feel like a lot of women are easily brainwashed, easily controlled by what they hear or how, and what and whatever they hear, however it makes them feel, they will make a reality, create a reality of that in their mind and will generalize it, which is a dangerous thing to do. I couldn't possibly generalize all women and say, oh, man, all these women ain't shit. All these bitches want to do is go after the highest bidder. Uh, they, they got commitment issues. They, they impatient. They, they're not committed to a long term. They say they committed to long term, but as soon as something go wrong or if it's a little, too, little stress or a little anxiety or a low moment in the relationship, relationship, then all of a sudden you're ready to call it quits. You're looking for an upgrade. Now you want to start OnlyFans. <laughs> but come on, man. Like, I can't say that about all women. Because all women don't think the same and not all women act the same. So why is it that women cannot do that and say that about men? But would yet go against the grain and try to destroy all men. So I ask again. Do you believe in Jesus? You're not asking me. I'm asking, do you believe in Jesus? Do you believe in God? So when you think of God... Well, do you think of a woman or do you think of a, a male figure? And then you could try to finesse the answer and say, oh, well, God is, is not a gender. He's a, but let's be real here. There's a, it's a male image in your mind of Jesus and of God. So until you can get that out your mind, until you can start worshiping a goddess, some higher, it don't matter who you choose to worship. Until y'all can start doing that, y'all need to be quiet because y'all hypocrites at the end of the day. When you try to put it out there that all men ain't this and all men ain't that, but your creator supposedly is a male. And if God was so against all males, then we would have already been wiped out of here off this planet. And y'all would just be here ruling. But that's not the case. Y'all need us. We need y'all. So stop the foolishness because y'all looking dumb at the end of the day. Y'all looking better. Y'all looking hurt. 
And really, ultimately, it's not all women. It's a lot, mostly, let's be real here. It's mostly black women who attack black men and project it to the world to, to add to the stereotype of black men. I don't really see too many white women tearing down white men. I don't really see too many Hispanic women tearing down Hispanic men. I don't see Asian women tearing down Asian men. It's always a black woman tearing down a black man. That's dangerous right there. Y'all on dangerous ground right now. I'm not talking to all black women, but some of y'all, y'all know who y'all are. Until y'all stop doing that, y'all won't release the curse off y'all. Because believe it or not, y'all cursing yourself when y'all do that. When you dedicate yourself, I'm not saying you dedicating your whole walk of life to just destroying men, but it's a lot of, you know when you're being poisonous towards men. You know when you're going too far. When you're trying to elevate yourself and promote yourself at the expense of tearing down your ex-boyfriend or just a man in general. Uh, that's not cool. So if you're going to play the fair game, play the fair game. But if you're not going to play fair, just know there's going to be consequences and repercussions. So I don't know if your God, y'all's God out here is proud that y'all are on a attacking man spree. Attack the predators. Attack the men that deserve to be taken down. But don't generalize all men as one thing. You're making a mistake. So all I'm saying is, <clears throat> if you believe in Jesus, if you believe in God, you can't look anybody in the face and say, well, I believe God, God and Jesus is actually uh, uh, Julie and, and Jehovah just make up something just to try to feminize it but you you can't even really feminize the god you when y'all go to church and y'all praising god and jesus you speak you're thinking of a man it's a jesus a god it's a man it's 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 a masculinity that you're you're craving and you're and you're uh yearning for <laughs> let me stop man but hey just be real y'all stop it looks bad from my lens because of how i'm seeing it I know the goods and the bads of, of both sides. I can see the good and the bad of both sides, but I see the good in both sides too. But there has been a, a big old, it's, a, it's like a big old cult just forming bigger and wider and wider and just growing <clears throat> of this hate towards men in general. If you're going to have that hate, use that and start exposing these real monsters because some of y'all still scared to speak out and expose the real monsters y'all y'all really only exposing the pawns the uh the bottom feeders of the industry like the young blacks the blacks that are, are being filed in the industry but what about the higher the execs the ones that's behind the scenes behind the curtain the wizard of Oz y'all not gonna expose them huh scary asses man y'all goofy bro but hey, be careful. I don't think God and Jesus will be happy with y'all. And y'all's fate and y'all's afterlife. Who gonna judge you, a man or woman? I don't know. But hey, don't be a hypocrite. Love y'all though.